I've never done one-star products on Amazon with Scott the Watts. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm Take doing that. good, yeah. That, I thought you, you were going to give me oh, a yeah, little fist bump. Yeah, you can give me bump. one of those. God, where what? one of those things. Give me a uh, fist bump again. I can make that more awkward if you want. Like this? Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. great. Thank you for being here. Everyone, check out Scott's channel below. I'm really excited to show you what I got because these things, Ooh. oh boy. I feel like a lot of reviews, they're only reviewed when uh, they don't like... I mean, like, are you really going to review something you like? To be fair, to find these one-star reviews, Reviews, I had to search Amazon by worst, go all the way down, and they were all pretty much just had one review, and it That's was weird. a bad one. <laughs> all right, what do you got I'm first? Bingo. Throw it my way. These are the Super Mario Bros. Walkie Talkie Kids Toy, long range, two way, static free, handheld radios designed for indoor and outdoor games for kids ages three and up. I should have planned ahead and got batteries. He looks great. I don't think these are all too bad. Then again, I have not used them. I know we got to use them. Do you think this antenna is actually there for a purpose or do you think they just know it's a walkie talkie? <laughs> Let's put an antenna looking thing there. Yeah. It's like a cow without udders, you know, it doesn't look right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen the movie Barnyard? No. As the bulls udders. have udders. Do they not normally? No. You know a lot about bulls. Where am I talking? Am I talking into his mouth? <laughs> I think that's the implication, but I'm pretty sure there's like a little hole down here. I feel like it would make sense if the speaker was his if mouth. If you talk into his mouth. Speaker mouth. And ear, you listen ear, in the ear. The yeah, on. no, definitely. The one star review by David says, do not buy for small children. I bought these for my four and two year old for Christmas. I thought they worked great until I heard a man talking to them through the walkie talkies. The next morning, a complete stranger started talking to my children, asking for their age and what school they go to. That's What's going on with that? Oh, no. What's going on it's with that? It's a lot to unpack. Testing one, two, over. Hello, hello, hello. I can hear you. Uh, calling Scott the Watts. Calling Scott the Watts, over. Breaker, breaker. This is Scott. Can you read me? I can read you. Uh, don't forget to say over, over. Over to. What is this thing? This um, is the 18 piece Mario toy, Luigi figure toy, super action figures, Mario Bros toys, perfect for Christmas and Easter egg gifts. Look at this guy. Have you ever seen a Donkey Kong so yellow? What is that, jaundice? Has I don't know, these, these look like the, the, the figurines like your grandma has or something. They look a little like a little off, a little creepy. Oh my God, you haven't seen this one. Did they even like <laughs> look at her first? And Peach is significantly shorter. Mario's nose is trying to leave his face. This is awesome. For the walkie talkies, are we on board with the four or five stars that it had? Um, I think they do the job. Yeah. Now we just gotta wait around until somebody starts talking to us through them. That is true. We should leave them on to make sure. These figures, I think the two stars is accurate. You mind if I like uh, rip off like Donkey Kong's hand for like just, I don't know, memories? No, please. I gotta be honest. This guy is a uh, pretty high quality. Now I'm twisting his arm and like it's staying put. It's Donkey Kong, man. He's that got, is he's got cool. the strength four, of an eight. For $14, that's like what? 75 cents a figure? He is yellow. Hello, though, so who cares? <laughs> Hey, it's me. I know we're all having a good time here, but I got to thank the sponsor real quick. No one. There's no sponsor today. Can you imagine if I did a sponsor with Scott the Was? I'm pretty sure he'd block me. <laughs> no, there's no sponsor. So if you could please check out the podcast right before we filmed this, I did a whole episode with Scott the Was. And if you want to go see that, you can. We do a new episode every week with a different guest. And usually I keep it secret until the day, but I'll let you know now the next one's Austin John. So please go and check out the the show. It's a ton of fun. It's a chance for me to blab about everything I love in gaming every single week. For example, when I reacted to the direct recently, I had to cut that down for my YouTube video, but on the podcast, I could talk about it for an hour. That's it. I'll let you get back to this. It's fun. Wait until we get to the sword thing. It, <laughs> it's so bad. Okay. What's next? <laughs> Oh. This is the everybody's favorite game console funny. Oh, I love funny games. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Not the game console funny. The Nintendo Switch 2. Look at that. Look at that Look guy. At that. That's so cool. They got Mario 3 on that bad boy. They got Street Fighter 6. Ooh. Boy, this little like knob here. I've reviewed it's one of so the worst many things I've ever felt in my life. It'll break so quickly, like first time. Yeah, a lot. A lot of this feels uh, pretty bad, and uh, that's saying something. You know, have you ever mm -hmm. vomited? I've tried it. It's a little spinner. I feel like I can like, yeah, there it goes. All right, cool. Wait, did you rip off the thumbstick already? Yeah. Dude, that's my console. I gotta be honest. Um, You're not feeling it? You're not vibing no, with no, it? No, 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 no. Listen, I think these things get a bad rap, mainly because they're illegal. <laughs> but you know, for what, 24 bucks, I can play Street Fighter 20 and Bomberman and Hit Mouse. This had one star, and I think it actually looks kind of cool. It's the four-in-one flaring, charring. Does that mean it's gonna burn? It's yeah, gonna burn yeah. the house. I think it means charging stand for the N-Switch OLED Joy-Cons. 
Oh! That is pretty sweet. Come on, man. Why does this have one star? I feel like this is a little like a like a lava lamp. You know, yeah, I, I've always liked lava lamps, but like I'm always terrified of them. It's not real lava, Scott. I'm not saying that. I'm saying <laughs> if you buy a lava lamp, it has like a billion warnings around it saying, don't leave this on. I feel like this is pretty cool. No, I think this is sick. It's I doesn't really feel fully designed around the Joy-Con. It feels like it's something else and then they kind of stuck the rail. Yeah, I can see that. But does that make it bad? I think it makes it bad just kind of like, it just feels like a bit of a cheap product. One one review and it's one star and they didn't say anything. That's like if like an employee from like Lowe's goes down the street to Home Depot and leaves the sink on. Like I feel like this is probably from like some kind of competitor. Oh yeah. Just some friendly competition. Just kind of <laughs> friendly competition rating it one star with the only review it has. Exactly. I feel like there's a domino effect you can kind of have there. You impressed Very by that? Nice. I am, but I'm more impressed by whatever this is. I expect this to be broken out of the box. Ew. <laughs> Okay, all right. <laughs> this has got to overheat. It's a little reindeer thing. <laughs> well, I don't think those are antlers. Those <laughs> yeah, are antlers. now they're not antlers. Well, Look at that. That's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> the Yoko Cute Plush Switch Protective Case. Dockable protective case. Why are the titles so long? Cute, but a bit impractical. The switch isn't dockable and causes some already noticeable heating issues. Hey, uh, you yeah. pulled it so quickly. I don't really want it to be furry. It just feels really? wrong. Yeah, I just don't feel comfortable holding that. I don't know why. As I was holding that, I just kind of felt this rush of anxiety. <laughs> Are you why. feeling okay? No, not at all. I hate these. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Getting good at that. You I like that? it. I like it. LED sword accessory with game cartridge holder. It's like those Wii Sports accessories that uh, everybody made that uh, nobody used. Where it's just like, oh, your Wii remote is the golf club. Can I hold it? It's my turn with the toy. You gotta be real careful holding it because it keeps falling apart at the seams. I need the Joy-Con. It's in the bear. You, you guys can... know damn well this ain't a bear. This is a reindeer. Yeah, just just later. everybody bear with him. But that joke did not land because it's not a bear. <laughs> it's a oh, reindeer. Dear. Stop. <laughs> I'll rein it in. That was good. That was good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Surprisingly, they actually used real Switch cards in the marketing. I didn't think they'd be allowed to do that. I don't think they are. Nintendo Switch Sports, probably one of Scott's favorites. What does that mean? That, that seemed like a bit of a jab there. It's just very white. Nah, it's Switch Sports is just fine. If it doesn't have 52 Worldwide American Classics. Worldwide American. What's the problem American? you have with this game? Nothing. 50, there's 50 plus games in there. It's That's great. That's good value. It's just still so funny to me. You could pick any game in the library for my video and it was 51 Worldwide Classics. Classic. What do you want me to say? I want you to say what you wanted to say. What's about your favorite Switch game? Mine, Tears of the Kingdom. Why? Because it has 51 worldwide classics. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Tell me why it's your favorite. I have an hour video about it on the channel. When I submitted that video to your channel, it had to be like two, three minutes. Which I've now learned must have been insufferable for you. <laughs> I want to make shorter videos. I've had like a couple projects within the past year that I've wanted to make that are very long. Like two and a long. half hours. Speaking of long, could you take any longer trying to get that in? Oh, be better if you didn't have to take it out of a bunch of tiny screws to replace the batteries? Tiny screws? I think ours came without screws. Because this guy's complaining about all the tiny screws. Ours is not staying together because of no screws. There's no screws in the well, box. This holds together just fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the worst one yet. I gotta be honest. That was I don't, I don't really see much value in this. To be honest. I want you to just figure that out. Girly dress for dolls. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. A doll box sleeve, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, I think you put a switch in this box. Mm -hmm. Hide it in this little doll box and they'll be like, screw you, mom. Prank gift box sleeve. Fake prank box disguise gift a girly dress up doll for pranksters. What makes this one star? Well, it actually isn't. This is four stars, but there was a ton uh -huh. of one star reviews. Because their kids started crying? Yeah. It's great for pranking, but the box has a weird stinky odor to it. Be cautious if your nose is sensitive. This smells like fish. <laughs> I'm getting lobster. Lobster? <laughs> is it making you It smells you a little like lobster. <sighs> Oh, it does sting. Yeah, so this is the review that I saw. I gave this to a friend's son. He was very disappointed that it had a toy truck inside. He was so excited thinking he was getting a doll. I didn't know that he's been asking for a doll since he was four. Now he's seven and he says he feels like he's a girl and wants to wear dresses. It's an awkward situation for those that were at the party. Not funny at all. I don't think that's the product's problem. I think that's a parent. Like, I think there's another issue going on there. Just let your kid be your kid, man. I will say, though. I do hate this for that same reason. Why are you trying to trick a kid? 
So I found this one before the one that looked like the Switch one. It is the Game Power. It actually looks pretty sick, but for $24, it only has one review and it's two stars. I opened mine up and it's just a single board with no place to put an SD card or other games. It came with mostly shovelware. Why did these people- I think I'm gonna need a little uh, micro USB. Does it not turn on? Is it dead? Yeah. I'm not reaching that oh, far. We might just leave it on charge for a little bit. <laughs> I have to come over here and sit in my lap or you know, anything. I've tried a lot of things like that. <laughs> sitting not, in my lap? sitting in your lap, no. I'm talking, I'm talking these little game consoles. Have you ever seen them uh, sold at like Walmart or something? Retro Game Boy looking things. Oh yeah. Those are the worst damn products. At least with these, you get actual games. I, I wouldn't speak too soon. I'm pretty sure that's going to be exactly that. We'll see. Gaming grip. Ooh. With one star. Why does this have a USB cable? Ergonomic Why? comfort handheld shock proof. Protective stand holder. Why would you be able to charge the case? <laughs> you got it. I believe. It's sticky. Yeah. That wasn't in the reviews. This is Fucking disgusting. <laughs> is it actually like sticky? It is sticky. <laughs> oh, you uh, liking that? I just want to know why it can be charged. I think it just gives you extra battery life, like a oh. charging case oh, on a phone that's or something. Kind of cool. Uh, no, nah, you you won't think that after you hold it. <laughs> Give it a go. Oh, ooh, oh, oh, the whole thing is sticky. Like is? every element to it. I got a bit of an obscure reference for it. Have you ever held a Gizmondo? No. Do you know what a Gizmondo is? Nope. It was a handheld back in like 2005. It was run by like the Swedish mom. Mafia. I bought one and it has that problem. Like I think like some plastic yeah, just kind of plastic. You want Chinese or English? You got two options. This is like a 501. I clicked on Contra 24 in one. Oh my God. And then it so did many. an entirely separate multi card. So we go down 501 and then Contra 24 in one. It's like Inception. Look at this. <laughs> and look at that. It's Contra. That one actually looks pretty good. This reminds me of an iPod Nano oh, from back in the day. I used to have one of those. It's a cheap knockoff kind of a uh, whatever, but, but it's sleek. It's, it's so sleek. light and small. Oh, these, these I'm excited for. Tits. <laughs> All right, okay, now very cool. How does this relate to what Mario? <laughs> <laughs> you know how every time you play your handheld consoles, oh boy, do your elbows hurt. They do, they do, my back hurts too. These will fix that. Get your little elbows into those and crap. <laughs> Pain relief on gaming compatible with, so these are what it's compatible with. If you use anything else, you'll be in trouble. I feel like these kind of do their job. You know, for 16 bucks, I feel like that's kind of a rip off. I mean, they are quite soft. They're actually kind of pleasing to touch. I feel like they kind of need to be a little bigger. You got big wrists? No. You got big elbows? Maybe. I don't what is you... it you want it to be bigger for? <laughs> This is the TV docking station with game slot. It had a lot of bad reviews because people's switches were turning off and then not turning back on again. Interesting. Yeah. I'm down to take a look at it though. Can you I can take it? a look at it. I'll take a look at the next thing too. Oh, forget that thing. Just take that. Take Whoa, that. <laughs> Tell me on. that's not the best controller you've ever seen. It's already on. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. It's, like a, an owl. it's an owl. Ooh, I Actually, hate these triggers. These triggers feel like I'm doing something wrong. You told me you had a beak phobia earlier. I don't like birds. I mean, I like birds. I can be friends with a bird. You can bird. be around birds. Yeah. I you just don't be... like birds. Uh, the beaks kind of freak me out a little bit. I got to be honest. They're just a little too hard. <laughs> I don't know. I'm don't sorry know. if that's triggering you then, but it's the Cool Eagle Pro Controller for Switch. Can you think of any practical reason to want to own this? Well, it's only 18 bucks. That's a big deal. You get all these things. You get gyro, dual vibrations, get these damn things on the back that like a lot of these pro controllers do. I just feel like if you really want access to these, I feel like you're probably paying a little more than $20 for a controller. You got more buttons too. There's like weird little top ones. Oh man. How would you even get to those? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> you get like a hand Cramp. This thumbstick and this thumbstick are different. This is a uh, convex and this is concave. Oh, these triggers do suck. I mean, I kind of like the lights on the A, B, X, and Y. Those are kind of cool. Very, very, very cool. And I do like lit up birds, but um, not a fan of them in the form of a controller. What form of lit up birds do you like the form of? You see a bird flying around on, on fire? fire? That is, that, that is That's at a least, phoenix. That is, that is a spectacle. Cool. These are all one star controllers. I'm going to go ahead and cut to the chase and let you know that uh, the listing says for Nintendo Switch. You see that listing there where it says for Switch? For the Switch. Yeah, these don't work on Switch. Really? As we agreed earlier, Scott would be taking all of these as gifts. So now you have three of these controllers to I take I only on. have one checked bag, buddy. Don't worry, these are all small. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie to you and be like, this is the worst feeling thing in my life. Oh, it feels really cheap though. You know what a pet peeve of mine is? When, when I see somebody review stuff like this and they visibly look like they're gagging. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, this is horrible. Like, I'm like, it's not that bad. I will say that's not really open overreaction. That is genuinely one of the worst. I'm, I'm going to say, you know what? I feel bad, but I picked this up. I went, oh, because it is that bad. It's sticky. Oh, it's sticky. No. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you know, you know, it's like a gizmondo. It's I got to hook you up with a gizmondo, friend. Send me a gizmondo. I got, you got to get your first gizmondo. I would love to. If it feels anything nasty. like this, Scott, get me sticky. I think that's it. Thanks so much. Did you have a good time? Yeah, these were amazing. Amazing. You can keep it all. I don't want any of it. Thank you. Hey, like I always say here, only 50% of you are subscribed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and like the video. Isn't that right, Scott? Yeah, smack that bell on. <laughs> uh, add video to favorites. Oh, uh, that's a new one. I like that one. That's an old one. Okay, okay bye. <laughs>